Sometimes it's jobs like that that treat people like we're just replaceable. It took confidence out of me to try to go out there again, and that hasn't really happened to me before. But I know not everyone can relax right now, but taking that pressure off has really eased my anxiety. There's a quote I saw scrolling through social media. It said, we have to start romanticizing our lives, believing our mornings are cute and fun, that every cup of tea is the best you've ever had and that even the most mundane things are exciting and new. That's how you look forward to every day. I started to feel more gratitude, even in the smallest things. I believe in manifestation, and that the more you count your blessings, the more you will gain. I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head, people who love me, my dog, and food in the kitchen. And the ability to create art, even in these tough times. I'm grateful for my privilege. It also made me think about the homeless and how much this affects them, which made me think about how first world countries don't behave as villages anymore that everyone has to fend for themselves. It's reflected in how humans have reacted at grocery stores and hoarding toilet paper. We've seen the worst of humanity, but we've also seen the best. Every night at 7 p.m., Vancouver cheers for our local health heroes. Thank you for all that you do. light on things that we've shoved into the dark not just as a society but things within ourselves life is a journey not a destination so not every day will be sunshine in order to connect with myself again i need to disconnect from all that didn't serve me human beings love being like they're in control and time is one of those things that we can't but we don't have to be slaves to it anymore we need to remember what it's like to live in the present rather than the past or the future Raquel's taller than me, so she's gonna put it up there for me. Anxiety isn't something I knew I really had until it got bad a few years ago. Meditation got harder for me, even though you think it get easier over time. But sometimes things happen in life that are out of your control, and we have to remind ourselves that it's okay if we're in a different place than we used to be. The journey has valleys as well as peaks. Peaks make the valleys seem really low, but the valleys make the peaks seem higher. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, Pika. Pika, come here. She's so excited. <laughs> Resistance is real. <laughs> to put into perspective, Hitler went to art school, but he never painted anything. It was literally easier for him to start a war. That's how hard creation can be. But resistance just means how badly we want something. Our bodies tell us staying in bed feels safe, but our minds want something different. It's just scary to face. 
I start to replace I have to's with I want to's and should's with I have the opportunity to. Just like making this video, I felt so much resistance. It's taken me a while to make. I wanted to document this experience. At first, I wasn't sure what would come out of the video, if it would even be interesting. But creation is about trial and error. There is a chapter Vinny read to me from the book 48 Laws of Power. It talks about how it is better to fail right away than to spend years mastering something to perfection where no one ever gets to witness it. If we were to create something just for ourselves, we wouldn't stress over perfection because we're not afraid of judgment. But we need to create and share that creation to tell stories and connect. Create so that you can fall in love with yourself and in turn, people will fall in love with you. Or they won't, but create anyways. But just like quarantine, nothing about this video was planned. I just went with the flow. It's an unorganized, unpredictable piece of art that I decided to share. Okay, ready? Episode three, here we go. Ready? Yep. All things happen for a reason. Although there is tragedy that has come from this pandemic, there's also a lot of lessons and positivity. It's what our world needed in order to pause and look inside. It also gave Mother Nature a chance to keep up and heal. I feel really lucky to live in a place surrounded by nature. The world has become so disconnected to her that we've forgotten everything plays a vital role. We are nothing without our trees our oceans, the bees, everything is intertwined. I've noticed the birds singing more songs lately and hearing about wildlife reclaiming some of their land back. This should be a lesson to not take her for granted with everything that she provides to us, to give back more than we take. Wait, stay there. Oh my God, stay there. Stay there. Who's a cute dog? <laughs> Everyone's waving. <laughs> we need to emulate and put out what we want the world to look like at the end of this. There is no going back to normal or whatever twisted idea of normal we had. We have a chance to create a new normal. For myself, I still want to avoid online shopping as much as possible and support local businesses instead like the drive-in movie theater, which was also a great social distancing idea. Human connection is still so important, so my friend and I did a social distance picnic. Six feet apart, of course. Ben! Hi! Money isn't making the world go round right now. The world changed after 9-11, and these new restrictions became normal. The world will change again after COVID-19. But we have more power than we think to shape that change into what we want it to be. One person can make a difference, no matter how small. One action creates a domino effect. <laughs> Just like Joaquin Phoenix said in his Oscar speech, human beings at our finest are inventive and creative. There isn't only one way of doing things. What if instead of our actions coming from a place of fear, we show more compassion to others? Let the lessons we have learned about the importance of human connection never fade. And rather than becoming more divided, we can become more united. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, congratulations. And thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next chapter of our evolution, whatever it may be.